So it's been a few days, and the hot question on almost certainly nobody's lips at all is, have I learned anything new? And I'm um, happy and kind of ashamed and maybe sort of yes to say I have. Um, the kind of ashamed was actually from the first thing that I learnt. Because I didn't know this existed. And I was happy not knowing this existed, to be fair. Um, it feels rather sad now that I do know it exists. But what it is, it's, um, it's that, that. That, 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 which is apparently, and this is very sad, whatever loser wanna be McDonald's worker. Now, everyone knows loser. That's a big well known. Everyone knows that one. The rest of it just seems a bit of. It's like it's showing off. I mean, how did I? How did I find this out? I found this out from my wife, who did it to me. I can't remember what I said. We were messing around. She said that. And I'm like, what the hell is that? She said, that's the thing. Didn't you know? I'm like, no, I did not know that. I was quite happy never knowing that's a thing. But now I know it's a thing. And I feel a little bit worse for knowing that. I really do. But that was, that was New Year's. New Year's Eve, I found that one out. New Year's Day... I found out something totally different because we were sewing and we were making a new dress. Well, dress slash top for my gorgeous wife. And we didn't have enough fabric to do the full bodice and sleeves that she wanted. So we had to change it. We had to modify it. And the way we modified it was we put on sleeves from a different pattern. So... We changed the pattern a bit so it takes the sleeves and it all fits in nicely. And I didn't know that was called hacking, of all things. Hacking, because I think of hacking in the way of computers, because it's what I do for a living. It's what I do a day in, day out. This was hacking a pattern. Nice, fairly uninteresting to most people, but I found that one, I found that one quite good. That was quite nice. Now, yeah. then we come to the second, and on the second, I learned something about overlockers. Again, we're back into sewing territory, and we were sewing some new stuff again. We're sewing up some um, hoodies, like the one I'm wearing right now, um, and an overlocker, for those of you who don't know what an overlocker does, an overlocker essentially sews two bits of fabric together in a very very solid zigzaggy type stitch and it cuts off the tr the excess fabric so you've got this beautifully neat edge very very nice um and it's probably our most used machine but it stopped cutting which is really annoying um and so we assume the blades had to be changed now what i didn't know Two things I didn't know. The first one is the bottom blades actually rarely ever get blunt because they're made of tungsten. That's a very useful thing to know because it means I never really have to replace the bottom blade. The other thing I didn't know is I didn't realise you could actually just get them sharpened. Because it seems like quite a disposable little part, although flaming expensive because these things like 30 quid each. Um, but a fairly disposable little part, it's blunt you replace it, like you tend to do with scissors, because the days when you used to sharpen these things, that's long since gone. People don't sharpen stuff anymore. Whenever we get a pair of scissors knackered, we don't take them to the guy to sharpen them. It's a sad thing, but back in the day, that's what you used to do. You used to get a pair of scissors, you used to take them up to the local hardware shop, he'd sharpen them up for you. Not anymore. We throw them away. But no, you can get blade sharpened. And that's oddly enough where I've just been to take the overlocker to get the blade sharpened up. Ah, well, that's it. That's the things I've found out so far. Nothing overtly interesting for most people, I wouldn't have thought. Nothing groundbreaking or massive revelations. But I learnt something new so far every day. <laughs>